In our co-main event, what a fight it was. Isa Cruz, I've said time and time again, even before tonight, this kid is an absolute superstar. And once again, if you didn't notice in the arena, it was nearly 95% for Isa Cruz in here, the pride of Mexico. And now they can say they have another world champion, WBA super lightweight world champion. And he defeated Roly Romero by an eighth round TKO. And what a performance it was. Isak, congratulations on becoming a world champion. What is the feeling right now being the 140 pound champion? Isak, felicitaciones por ser el campeón mundial. ¿Cómo se siente ser flamante campeón mundial de las 140 libras? Hola, ¿qué tal? Muy buenas noches. Y bueno, me siento muy contento, muy agradecido con Dios por esta gran oportunidad, con Al Hyman, con PBC, con Sean Gibbons por darme esta gran oportunidad y aprovecharla al máximo, con mi esposa, con mis hijos, con todo el equipo de trabajo. Y bueno, venimos nada más por lo que nos pertenecía, por la cereza del pastel y muy contentos de habernos coronado como campeones del mundo en 140 libras. I'm very happy, very glad to be a brand new world champion. I want to thank God, first of all, also Al Heyman, PVC, Amazon Prime Video, everyone that made this possible. And this was a product of hard work. It wouldn't have happened without my team. And I want to thank my family as well. They have been here with me throughout. I'm really happy, really excited to be a, the new world champion at 140. All right, ladies and gentlemen, we're going to open things up to questions to the media. So please raise your hand. Be patient with us. We have one mic. So raise your hand and we will try to get to all of your questions. So I believe we already have someone with a mic. So go ahead um, and uh, ask away. Hey, Pitbull, how are you? This is uh, Najee from Cigar Talk. I'm here. Uh, congratulations, first of all. Um, a big win. Very exciting style. Um, now that you're at 140, um, fans have already been clamoring on Twitter uh, about a potential fight with Sabril Matias. Um, I wanted to know what you think uh, about a fight with him. ¿Qué te parecería una pelea contra Sabril Matias? Porque se está rumoreando que quizás se podría ser un buen oponente para vos. Como lo he dicho, yo no me cierro a pelear con nadie siempre y cuando lleguen a buenos términos entre empresas. Y bueno, en primer punto que que su empresa y mi empresa lleguen a un gran acuerdo y yo peleo con quien sea. Bring anybody on. I'm willing, like I, I've always said, I'm willing to fight anybody as long as both parties come to an agreement. If his side comes to an agreement with my side and everything works out, then I have no problem fighting with him or anyone else. Isaac, Ernesto Amador de No Puedes Jugar Boxeo. Antes que nada, es felicidades por una carrera que conozco desde el inicio de sacrificios y demás. Y justo la, la primera pregunta es eso. ¿Valió la pena todo el sacrificio de momentos inclusive complicados en lo económico? Uh, was the sacrifice worth it? Everything that you had to endure to get to this point, was it worth it? Claro, totalmente. Ahora sí que para poder llegar a hacer algo o alguien en la vida, siempre requiere de mucho sacrificio, disciplina y trabajo. Y es lo que hicimos en esta, en esta noche. Eh, tuvimos que sacrificar muchas cosas para que se vieran reflejado todo el trabajo hoy y podernos coronar como campeones del mundo. Absolutely, it was worth it. Anything worth doing in life takes sacrifice, hard work, and dedication. And that was what you saw tonight inside the ring, the fruits of that hard labor, that dedication that made all of this happen. Pitbull, uh, congratulations. Steven Coreno, KL Art of Sports. Uh, you know, there was a lot of talk coming into this fight. You know, there was the Chihuahua chain. Just how did it feel to get the KO victory, you know, to stop, you know, do the talking in the ring like you wanted and uh, did Roly give you the, the chihuahua chain after? Bueno, hubo mucha, muchas declaraciones cruzadas en la previa, la cadenita del chihuahua y todo eso. ¿Qué tan bien se sintió el poder de tenerlo antes de la campana final a Roly? Y además, ¿él te dio la cadenita como prometió? No, creo que demostré que más vale que respeten a un pitbull porque el que lo llame... Chihuahua, aquí se va a ver reflejado cómo va a terminar como Rolando en esta noche y bueno, la, la cadena nada más se quedó en puro, puro hablar. Well, I showed you that you better respect the pitbull because if you disrespect him and call him a Chihuahua, then you saw how Rolly Romero ended up tonight. Yeah. And, and the chain, well, it ended up as being just stuck. I don't have it. 
Pitbull right here, Marcus Hayes, Fight Hub TV. Uh, first off, congratulations, champ, on your victory tonight. I know that you put a lot into this. Uh, I wanted to ask you in particular, can you take us back through the first sequence of when you started to get Roly in trouble? Uh, what was going through your mind when you started to get him in trouble? ¿Qué te pasaba por la mente durante especialmente esos primeros rounds en los que se veía que Rolly eh, podía llegar a estar en problemas? ¿Cómo hiciste para mantenerte consistente y enfocado en lo que querías hacer? Pues como bien lo dicen, enfocado, nunca perder la cabeza y ir trabajando para ir golpeando con, con inteligencia y llevar a cabo el trabajo de, de todo el campamento. Well, it was all about focus and it was all about reminding myself of everything I've done through training camp. Relying on those fundamentals led me to the success I had tonight. Isaac, this is Cynthia from Best Women's Boxing Show, period. Congratulations to you and, in, you and your team. Uh, can you just rate Roly's power and also, would you be willing, if you can't get Matias, would you be willing to fight Barroso, the one that Roly won the belt, allegedly, against in the last fight the goal, uh, a couple months back? Bueno, primero que nada, felicitaciones por la victoria. Y si no fuese Matías, ¿estarías dispuesto a pelear contra Barroso, quien era el oponente original de Rolly en esa pelea controversial en la que Rolly ganó el título? Como lo vuelvo a repetir, yo no me cerro a pelear con nadie siempre y cuando lleguen a un buen acuerdo entre empresas o manejadores y yo peleo con quien sea y en donde sea. I can't say enough. If both parties agree, then I'll fight anybody, wherever, whenever. So it's just a matter of that happening. Pitbull, congratulations. What's it like for you to share this belt with your father, who was a fighter, and your grandfather? Have you already talked to him in Mexico City? ¿Qué significa para vos el poder compartir este momento acá con tu papá, con tu abuelo, y todos los familiares que tienen un legado que vos estás llevando hacia adelante? Pues es una satisfacción muy grande poderlo compartir con mi papá, con mi abuelito, en vida, y que lo pudieron ellos apreciar ahorita, y que pues que fueron testigos no nada más de palabras, sino arriba del ring y, y del todo el trabajo de que ellos no pudieron po poder este, adquirir en su carrera y muy contento. It means so much to me to be able to enjoy this with my grandpa and with my dad while we're all still alive. That means a whole hell of love to me. And the fact that I get to carry their mantle and achieve what they unfortunately weren't able to achieve, but to take it even further and put the cruise name on top, that's priceless to me and it means a lot. Um, hi, Pitbull right here. Um, my question is, did anything surprise you up there in the ring? And my question for the Can coach, you speak up a little bit? We, it's yeah. hard to hear. Did anything surprise you up there when you fought Rolly Romero? And I have another question for the trainer. Did everything go according to your plan and the things that you worked in the gym for the fight with Rolly Romero? Okay, vamos a ir primero con Isaac acá, que era de que te sorprendió algo de Rolly Romero durante la pelea. Eh, sí, mucho. Él decía que venía a golpearme y vino a hacer una... Una, un maratón en la pelea y no me espantó el verlo correr por el ring. Uh, what surprised me was that he said that he was going to hit me in the face, that I was going to run into something, and all he did was run. So that surprised me. Uh, and the second question for the trainer, if I'm not mistaken, was the uh, work in the gym? Yeah, if they had any like game plan and was the things that they worked in the gym play out in, in the fight night. Bueno, y la, y la pregunta para usted, señor, era si usted vio que el trabajo en el gimnasio, toda la planificación, la estrategia previa, ¿se reflejó dentro del ring hoy? Sí, bastante claro lo dejó Pitbull, en la forma física, en la forma mental, en el poder de sus, de sus golpes, que Rolly salió espantado y habló que iba a pelear y pues salió a correr un, un maratón, del cual yo dije que el ring iba a quedar muy chiquito y honestamente... La cadena, que se la quede Rolly para que recuerde en toda su vida la golpiza que le metió Pitbull por Bocón. All right, so as far as the preparation, it all was crystal clear inside the ring, physically and mentally, impeccable by, by, by Isaac over here. What he did was flawless and it was everything that we envisioned and more. And I said before that Rolly was going to run a marathon and that the ring was going to be too small. That's exactly what happened. And as far as the chain goes, 
you know what, he can keep it because that's going to be a lifelong reminder of the beating that my son gave to him tonight. All right, thank you, ladies and gentlemen, for all the questions. Give it up one more time. Congratulations to the new WBA Super Lightweight World Champion, Isak Pitbull Cruz.